Hello, today we'll have a look at registered designs held in the State Library collection. The designs collection contains 19th and 20th century applications for registration of designs for commercial purposes. A design refers to the shape, configuration, pattern or ornamentation of an item. Each design application has a drawing or a photo of the design. There are designs for all sorts of everyday items, clothing, jewellery, badges, flags, purses, kettles, lawnmowers and toys, just about anything. A design could be for furniture or other household items. And there are a lot of designs for toys. From 1907 to early 1982, Australian designs were registered under 14 classes. Class 1 was for items of metal, Class 2 for jewellery, Class 3 for items made of wood, bone, ivory or paper mache. The classes continued on to include items made of glass, porcelain, bricks, leather, paper hangings, carpet, lace, millinery and textile items. In 1982, Australia changed to the Locarno classification, which includes 32 classes. I enjoy looking at the 1920s designs. It's fascinating to see what people were creating then. Here we see an unusual picture frame from 1924 where the front image is separate from the background image to give a layered effect. This design is in class 5 which was for articles made of paper. Perfect for your 1924 wedding photo. Here we have a cabinet designed in 1924. It includes a fold-out writing desk and a record table. The record player is at the top. Record players were often called talking machines in the 1920s. This cabinet was designed to fit in with other wooden furniture in the home. Another term for a talking machine was a phonograph. And here we have a design for a phonograph cabinet, which would have housed the record player. This is a very elaborate design from 1926. You might recognise that sound. Here's a design for a push lawnmower in 1943. You had to push it along, which could be quite hard work. Something more glamorous. Here we have a necklet and earrings designed in 1954. Many of the designs were submitted by individuals, but also many come from companies. Clothing also features in our designs collections. Here's a variety of designs for a colourful cap designed by a Melbourne man in 1969. You can find more information about the State Library Historic Designs Collection on our Designs Research Guide. And you can find the latest designs on the Australian Design Database on the IP Australia website. 